hi guys welcome back to the channel for those who are tuning in for the first time hello my name is nisha and for those who already been here y'all know what's up what it do baby boo welcome and welcome back hey hey girl hey today we are back with a shop my stash this is like my weekly reset that i absolutely love filming sometimes i'll talk myself out of like not doing these but i'm like no i really genuinely enjoying doing these because it kind of gives my mindset on what we're going to use like it plans out my content it plays out my uses of me using my makeup products so i enjoy these and i just really do appreciate those who do enjoy these as well i know that sometimes they can be a little bit repetitive but i'm going to try to switch things up uh, most importantly and one of the things is when i pick my palettes out and then when I come back for the next week, I know I don't show you guys all the looks that I did because I'm, I'm pre-filming so many makeup tutorials to the point. I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, you keep picking up palettes, but you're not using them. I am. <laughs> I just have so many videos pre-filmed. And I don't know what happened in February, beginning of March, but um, your girl was on, a, a, I don't know, I can't even describe it, but... I just felt like I wasn't here, like my present, my spirit wasn't here, but I have been doing so much better. I've been on my fitness journey, like this is the strongest I've ever been on it. And I'm just overly just like, I'm overall just at peace. I'm happy, I'm seeing some changes. I hope y'all can see the changes too. Your girl is <laughs> slowing up in the face, like I feel so good. So I'm back, I'm back trying to get things back onto my regular content. So. For my shop my stash weeklies they're going to be uploaded on mondays now instead of sundays and i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna do my best to make sure they come back every week so i'll come back every week and i'll also show you like when i pick out my palettes or whatever products i'm using i'll tell you how many times i used it and i'll also show like the makeup looks i did um do using the palette so that way you guys can see like hey i am using the stuff that i picked out i just i'm not getting it out in time for you guys to see it so this is gonna be the first time me doing this next week i'll give you guys that um the recap of what i did so if that makes sense i hope it makes sense if not come back next week and it'll make all sense okay so let's go ahead and get started um the last time i did this was probably about a good three weeks ago so i don't remember honestly what was picked out because my desk right now is a hot mess but this is why i need this reset i need to restart refresh pick out some new products to put on the desk and everything so let's go ahead and get started okay primers um i'm gonna go quickly through this because uh i don't know what to do oh let me try this one i've tried it i think like once but let's give her a go use her up hopefully and then let me get like a nice mattifying one you know what it's already on my desk it's the Rimmel stay matte we're gonna keep her on my desk because she's the most beautiful matte primer ever so yeah all right foundations honey we got some selections okay let's go in with Anastasia because this is what I actually have on right now she's beautiful I love that foundation and then I want to do a new foundation that I haven't done a wear test on and that's gonna be this one now I've used her a few times as you can see that's why she's dirty but I haven't given I haven't given y'all a wear test on this one so yeah I think I promised this the last time too from shop my stash so I'm gonna give it to y'all okay all right some concealers that I've been eyeing um let me do Kylie yeah let's do Kylie and I love this one I really do and she pairs really good with the Anastasia foundation so yeah that's why we're using her again okay that's it for this drawer yeah now this one I'm kind of learning that I kind of just want to go with the flow of how I do my looks but I'll pick out one blush I feel like I want to use in one highlight it's just not going to be the only blush and highlight that I use so I just want to keep that in mind for you guys um <sighs> something I haven't used in a while I haven't used this Morphe highlighter in a while let me grab her and then my blush mm -hmm. should I use a blush palette what's underneath here 
I'll be forgetting sometimes. But look how underneath here. Oh, we got the Hula Huda Beauty 3D. We got the Ace Glow. So these are all mainly like highlighter palettes. I probably should have grabbed a palette. Hmm. So this is the BH Cosmetic palette. I know it's an eyeshadow palette, but it's also a face palette too. Um, I put her in the face category because I did not enjoy that eyeshadow, like the quality, this color story. But it might be different if I use her again, but that's why she's in here. <sighs> I just don't know what to choose from blushes, man. Um, I feel like there's really nothing I haven't used. I've been utilizing a lot of my blushes, so... Um, I'll pick one liquid blush, and I think she's already on my desk. Yeah, she's already on my desk. I'll use her so that way I can figure out where to go with that. So, yeah, this drawer is kind of hard for me to pick, y'all, because I be doing some looks, okay? Certain blushes, certain highlighters go, so, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, let's just close that. And the same goes for this drawer, I feel like. Oh my gosh. But anywho, let's I still haven't cleaned this, y'all. Still have not cleaned this. I think I have these lashes on right now. Um, ooh, I haven't used these in a while. Ambitious by I am Princess. She don't sell lashes anymore. I wish she did. These are pretty, so let me bring these on rotation. And for the rest, I think I'll just go with the flow. Yeah. So this is what my desk is looking like. Yeah, it usually looks like this by the end of the week. So it's time to have a refresh, put things up, and get it organized for our new things that we picked out for the week. I'm gonna take all my powders and put them back in my drawer. It's a hot mess. This is the blush I was talking about, but yes, this is what I'm gonna be using for the week. This primer is absolutely amazing. All right, and now my desk is the way I would like for it to be. Yes, this is how I like it, baby. It's clean, organized. <laughs> Hopefully it can stay like this throughout the week, but I doubt it, y'all. I'd be a mess when I do my makeup looks. This is my favorite spot right here. I get excited to grab something from over here. It's like, yes, yes. I still haven't did my lip swatches, so I left them over here. Um, I got a new gloss. She's green and she's cute. Another one of my favorites. This one. So I got her over here. Then I have a couple of lashes that I'm going to keep over here along with these right here. And then the palace that I'm going to reveal to you guys. All right, so let me quickly explain why I grabbed the things I grabbed. First of all, this Anastasia foundation is absolutely beautiful. I just can't seem to put her down. I feel like I've been using her a lot, but she is so beautiful. So I want to get more uses out of her. And I actually have her on right now. So that's why I decided to definitely keep her on routine because I feel like once I use her, I'm like, my mind's like, I got to use her again and again and again. She is the most beautiful glowy but light glowy style of foundation and it just gives you that skin look look at my skin yes so this is why she's on rotation rare beauty yes again another beautiful foundation you guys are going to see a wear test because i did film a wear test on this i'm going to do a review i'm going to do a wear test you guys are going to see me use this with different primers different um concealers and here are my pros and cons about this particular foundation so this is why these two would be on my rotation and as for the concealer i think i'm definitely going to rotate and keep you know other concealers on a go but as for now the kylie in the beauty bakery is it's kind of like my go-to right now i don't know what it is about these two but they just 
you know how you cling on to some certain products those in particular are just the ones that make clinging so we're yeah great picks <laughs> great picks i'm gonna be using them utilizing them so y'all stay tuned now for the exciting part i think you guys really tune in for this part and that is the palette so yeah i know i did my monthly pick of my palettes already so if you guys have not checked that out definitely check it out because i did ask you guys to leave a request on what palettes y'all want me to make sure i come back and do some looks so i am taking consideration of what you guys have picked out so i think i picked out maybe like two or three of the palettes that were voted for this week and then i picked two palettes that i felt like i want to utilize in my collection so let me show you guys what i decided to play with for this week so we got the blooming basket by dd signature Y'all knew I was gonna be playing with this one, okay? I did a look already using this palette. I do want to utilize this week and do a couple more looks using this palette because the color story is just absolutely beautiful. Like, I think this palette has definitely been slept on. And this was my very first time trying anything from this particular brand. And I have to say, I am a fan of them. I'm a fangirl. I'm a fangirl fan of this brand. So now I'm like, what else do I need from this brand? <laughs> so, yes, y'all will be seeing some looks using DD Signature. It was also voted and picked as well. So, yes, this palette was also voted and picked as well. This is the I Love You Forever palette from Violet Voss. Sorry, Violet Voss. <laughs> and this palette is definitely an old school palette, but I think she's definitely slept on. She is so freaking beautiful. It's like the smallest amount of eyeshadows in here, but the way these shades are placed in here, the color story overall is just so beautiful. And when this first came out, I felt like I didn't really utilize it the way I wanted to. So I was like, we're going to put this back on rotation. And again, this was requested too as well. So thank you. We're getting some looks out of this palette. So oh, I'm so excited for that one. Next was another voted requested palette from my March playlist. This is going to be the Glam Light and Garfield palette. And she is such a beautiful color story. I will put her in the kind of sort of like a neutral category for this palette. Although it's like some vibrant like orange and burgundies in here. But overall the whole color story I will say it's more neutral overall than colorful. But I think the whole color story... Glam Light did a really good job with this color story, of course. So I got three requested palettes, and then I wanted to pick one out of my own, and that is going to be the Morphe Till Dawn Artistry Palette. This is the 35A palette. I personally wanted to play with this palette because I feel like I didn't really do anything with this palette, and I was so excited for this color story. You know, the pinks, and then we got the beautiful greens. For those who don't know, Green <laughs> green and pink are my two favorite colors. Um, pink is definitely number one. And then green falls right underneath pink. Why? I don't know. I feel like as a as a <laughs> a little baby Nisha, like those two colors have always been a clinger to mine. And I just really like those colors. And they are beautiful, you can see, together. So I just want to do some looks, you know, some pink looks, some green looks, pink and green. And you can also get some beautiful neutral looks out of this as well. And then I was, uh, when I was picking this out, I didn't even realize this, but there's an odd blue in here. Like, it kind of like it washed away from the other shades, but yeah, there's a random blue in here. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to really analyze and look at this palette and kind of like plan some looks out because I think I can do some things with her. So, I think this palette is definitely slept on. So, yeah. Next, I also want to play with this palette as well. This is the ABH Novena palette. This is volume number two. I have personally have not played with this palette at all, but the color story is definitely inspiring. And I want to do some more colorful looks for you guys because I feel like I've been like in a neutral era, as you guys can see. And I didn't realize this is pretty much like a an all matte palette. That's probably about a good like, let me see. Only like six metallics in here. Wow. Oh, I just love the color story in this one. Oh, some browns in here. Didn't even realize that. It's, yeah, the more I feel like you look into your palettes and you start looking at it different, you like you, your mind discovers different things and different looks to 
do with those palettes so i'm excited to try this one like i said i have not used this one ever and it's been in my collection for a couple of months now so let's get some uses out of her and then now for the fun and exciting thing so y'all know last month i decided to have like a color thing for the month and it was purple so i gave my purple girls some beautiful purple looks so for this month of course i'm a little late because i'm late doing this but of course being that it was saint patrick month and i was like well not month but you know you get what i'm saying right march we think of saint patrick spring so i was like i think this would be a perfect time to do green so this month's color theme is going to be green so y'all are going to see a lot of green looks spoiler alert <laughs> if you don't like green i'm sorry but you're gonna like green by the end of this month okay so i'm gonna show you guys like bold green looks soft green looks i'm gonna give y'all some green 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 okay so let me go back into my drawer and actually pick out my green palettes i kind of have them separate into one particular drawer so that way i can make sure i'm not missing out on my other green palettes and if you guys will like i know i asked you guys for the purple and i totally forgot but i'm for sure for the green if you guys would like to see my top 10 or my top 5, I don't know how, how many I have, probably it's the top 10. My top 10 favorite green palettes in my collection, let me know down in the comment section. And I will have that serve on a platter for y'all for this week. My promise. Alright, green selection. It's my green little stash right here that I put together just for the sake of this month. This is a cute one too. Haven't used this one yet. All right, and the green palettes that we're picking. Let me tell y'all why, why, why. Uh, spoil alert. <laughs> this is like my one of my favorites. I would say one because I haven't really analyzed and looked at my palettes to see who holds like that top spot. I think this is her, but I'm not sure. But Dirty Martini from Glam Light. Like, it's giving, honey. If y'all haven't tried this palette, like, it's giving. Like, it's giving. I've done a few looks using this particular palette as well. Um, yeah, let's, let's serve some more. This one I have not used, so I wanted to use her. This is the Wealthy Chick, or Wealthy Chic, Wealthy Chick, whatever. And this is by Coloring. Y'all, look at these. I know it's only six eyeshadows in here, but it's like the perfect six shades in here. It's so pretty. Look at that. This one is really grabbing my attention. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to play with that lime green. Oh my gosh. Like a mustard yellow, you know? Really, really am excited to play with her. Coloring is coloring coming up with any like new things. I feel like I haven't heard anything new from them. I would love for them to do more things because their quality is really amazing. And then, of course, the eight, the Sweet Shop Collection. This is my favorite palettes collection from BH. I really hope one day they bring this back because if they do, I promise it will bring they sell back. Because there's a lot of people who miss out on this whole collection. And these palettes are the most beautiful, beautiful formulated palettes that BH has came out with. So, yes, this is going to be the Pistachio Palette. This is what she looks like. I have not done a look yet using her, but I have planned out a couple of looks using this palette. So y'all be on the lookout. This week is going to be hot fire. Y'all may not see all of the looks that I picked out for this week using these palettes. And I'm going to say this now, just give y'all heads up. That's because your girl was filming the other weeks and I was not editing. So I have some content, I have some videos. So I'm going to probably throw out a couple of like old pre-filmed videos. And then of course some new ones of you of me using these palettes kind of like balancing out until i play catch up on having all my videos uploaded and it's gonna be some days maybe y'all see two videos too i'm just saying so yeah be on the lookout your girl is back i'm focused my health is is going where it needs to go so i'm just so happy to be here and i hope you guys are excited for this week because it's gonna be spicy <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are looking forward to the content that we got planned for this week. And I just want to say thank you guys again for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. I will see y'all tomorrow. But of course, I will see y'all throughout this week. So make sure you guys are coming back. Make sure your notification bell is clicked. Because like I said, there might be some days I upload two videos. You never know.
<laughs> Bye, guys.